Now that you've got the basic setup for your body, we want to weave in all of these ends on the side. I know there's a lot, but take your time and just kind of enjoy it as part of the process. And then we're going to be creating the other lines that go vertical to create the window pane look fabric in our contrasting color. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do that. I've already set you up for success on this by adding those chain one spaces. I'm sure you were wondering what they were for. It really helps as a guide, a visual guide to see where these surface stitches will go. So to start out, you're going to take your contrasting color and attach it to one side at a chain one space. Now the next space that you will go into will be the next chain one space. I like to add a little extra one here at the beginning so there's no gaps. And then I simply put my hook in two, down into the next chain one space. And on the back, I will yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through the loop on the hook to create that slip stitch. We will do that all the way across. Now your working yarn will be underneath your work, but a lot of times you can just kind of feel it and catch it with your hook to pull it up and bring it through that chain one space. This creates a really nice contrasting line across your work that creates that beautiful window pane fabric. Now that we have our beautiful window pane fabric completed, we want to go ahead and fold this lengthwise. We want to create a seam on the side. We want to join them, but leaving a space for our arm at the top. So to do this, we will take the sides and we are going to stitch them together. Now I'm taking my yarn needle and I'm using the contrasting color here, but feel free to use the main color if you would like to hide these stitches a little bit better. I'm going to start by joining the ends together and I've laid this out a little bit so I can work it a little bit easier but you're simply starting at those bottom corners and joining them together but not all the way across. We're still going to be leaving those extra stitches for the arms. Now as we get closer to this opening, simply joining these by weaving back and forth with kind of like a whip stitch. We want to make sure that we don't go all the way to the top because this hole right here you see above my hand, that is the area that our arms will fit through. So this is a really simple design and an easy construction for a wearable garment. Now that we've joined our sides, we want to go ahead and fasten off. We've still got our area open for our arms and we want to flip our work to the right side. We can see that we've done this nice join. The fabric has been joined together, leaving a space for the arm, but we want to go ahead and add one more line here to blend that seam and create that window pane look. This line is really great. Now there's no chain ones to follow, but you should be pretty good at surface stitching at this point that you are simply going to do a surface stitch straight across that seam, which will help hide it and create that beautiful seamless window pane fabric. Once you get to the point that you've reached the opening for the arm, go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends and you're ready to move to the next step in the pattern, which is adding those arms.